mate. But right now, we are loading into game as we have Limitless versus Scuzz Esports. Here we go. After the delay, we are ready to go. Of course, it is Limitless in the orange and Scuzz Esports in the blue. That's the five series still, so we got a pretty medium length series ahead of us. Yeah, a nice, you know, five, see. possible five, five minute rounds here, but of course there's always the time in between goals and everything. So oh. no, I estimate a couple seconds here, but as I'm speaking, Hawk is already starting off the game strong and is going to be the first score of the game going over to Scuzz Esports with a nice just straight away here with a wide open net and Hawk is in the exact right place at the right time to get just that little bit of touch and correction and take the uh, goal credit for himself. There is Hockey, the other CRL world champion. Oh, Nitrous! Okay! Shot ties it up immediately, as I was saying. Um, another member of the Northwood University Blue that won the CRL world championship. And uh, Nitrous doesn't care. He's going to put it in the net anyway. And uh, ties it all up 30 seconds in. And I mean, Limitless, give me some time to talk about some stats, I don't man. Oh, okay. Any time. Okay. I thought all right. I was, I was about to just leave. <laughs> just, just two goals in the first, or like three goals. Actually, okay, okay. That's goal number three. This game is off to the races. It's just the first game of the series already. Three goals before one minute has even passed. Saya going to be the one to score here for Scuzz. And that means that Limitless are the ones behind right now, but this is a lot of actions. This is just what you want to see out of a high stakes game like this. Well, absolutely. Like you said, this is a Kings match. Both teams are undefeated and only one of them will be undefeated after it. Right now it's Limitless down by one, but we've seen how fast that can change. Here's Ares looking to extend that lead to two. That ball is going to be hit back towards the other side. Saya now passing it off to Hockey, and we finally got a little bit of team play going on instead of just uh, an all-out brawl for the ball. And now Nitrous trying to slow the pace down, getting a flip reset, a double flip reset. Okay, Nitrous. Didn't see you. We really, see you. Didn't really amount to anything because the blue side gets the ball back immediately, but definitely looked a little bit flashy. Mm -hmm. Got those nice trick plays, but right now the ball is just getting smacked out of the air by Eris, and Saya with a nice bank there is saved by BU there with an excellent positioning from him. But right now, it looks like it's still going to be Scuzz Esports to control the ball. Limitless are not able to get the ball away from their net so far. They've done a good job of defense, but that ball just doesn't want to leave this half yet. BU eventually getting it on the blue half, but they're not going to have an easy time getting it over to the net. Eris keeping that ball in the corner, and now it is hit over to the side. There's Ares trying to keep it on the orange side. He's going to do it. The center is there. And Skills, with a banger of a shot, forces Hockey to make the save. But he's got a slow rolling shot. But he can't save everything. Nitrous putting another one on target. But that one's actually just a little bit too high and wide as we're nearing the halfway mark. And Scuzz Esports still up by one. And what was a really quick game has slowed down here as both teams are now struggling to find a perfect opening. But it looks like... Right now, the ball is moving over to the side of Scuzz, and as I say, that bounces right off the wall, but Skills is now keeping it over there, and it's just moved by Hockey immediately. So just back and forth, bouncing in the air. Ball has not touched the ground yet. It's having a good time up in the sky, but we're finally going to touch the ground on the side of Limitless. So Will and Hockey taking this over toward the center. Ares looking for a Ooh. nice shot off of his teammate's pass, but Hockey decides to keep it himself. Just be you now. The nice okay. screen there. 50s right in front of the net. Nitrous keeping this one on target, but Hockey just bumps him over to the blue net and skills with an open shot. And oh, there that we one's go. gonna work in Limitless's favor. Scuzz, a little bit of an error there, bumping skills. And a good setup by BU. Skills goes forward, but Hawk is not able to get the defense there. And now this game is all tied up 2-2 two to two here with a minute 42 left on the clock. I knew it would not take long. Limitless have been getting a couple of bangers onto the blue net. And that one finally goes in. Ares, though, looking for another one. And hey, that okay. one is a perfectly placed shot. Not sure what happened to the second man. He might have been getting pumped. 
Let's see, oh. BU and skills in the net, but skills just, I think like you said, got bumped there by, by Hawk, by Hockey. I think it was either that or a missed read. I'm not really sure. All I know, Scuzz has the lead off of a little bit of a whiff from the defense of Limitless. And with 90 seconds to go, Limitless will be forced to score at least once more to take us into overtime. But right now, the ball is again just staying on the side of Limitless. It's not moving away from this net and a nice setup by Ares, but not able to push it down. Instead, the ball rolls over to the right. And now BU tries to take it out, but Hockney is right where he needs to be to try to move the ball back towards the goal. And no one is able to fully get control just yet. Hockney goes for the block, but the ball is still teetering towards the goal, but bounces off the top just in the corner there. Not able to get on target, but still in a dangerous position here as BU is trying to set something up, but isn't able to get it done. He's not. That's an awkward touch by Nitrous off the wall. And that's going to force him to follow it all the way down. Eris makes a great clear. Going to force the third man to come up and make that play. Luckily, Skills is there. BU looking for the ceiling shot. It's not going to be there. And a great 50 from Saya pinches it. It's off the wall. And it's going back the other way now. Skills looking for some space to work with. Hockey misses on the ball. Eris forced to get this clear, but he's just going to carry it up the ceiling where no one can play it. Get Whoa. the 50! And that'll be the nail in the coffin for sure! And just some excellent air control there from Ares. He bounces around and actually positions himself so that BU hits it right back into him. And the ball goes straight into the goal of Limitless. And now a two-goal lead in the favor of Scuzz with only 20 seconds left on the clock. This is going to be a tough match here for Limitless if they want to try to tie it up and take the, the victory here. But only got 13, 12, 10 seconds left. It's not going to be easy. Really is not. This one's going to have to go in. It's not going Ooh. to. And that will be the game. There's not enough time for the reset. And game number one will go to Scuzz Esports after Limitless falling in the last second. <laughs> Scuzz trying for one more, but it will touch the ground. Saya did not want the, uh, the game to end just there. Wanted to style on him just a little bit longer, but not able to get the, the last score there. The goal was open, but the ball just touched the ground at the last second there. But... Looks like Scuzz are going to be the first ones to take the game, but this is definitely an exciting match so far as both teams come out of the gate swinging. They do a great game by both of these teams. Game one seemed to just go a little bit more in favor of Scuzz, but as we get later on to this series, it would not surprise me if Limitless is able to bring it back and find a couple of games of their own. But Scuzz is a very good team, and it wouldn't surprise me if they're able to take that first win, keep the momentum, and ride it all the way into round number four with a three dubs in a row. Honestly, this could go either way as we start game number two. And now let's see how game number two starts. Because we saw before that these teams came out of the gate super fast. They were able to get like two goals, three goals, if I'm not mistaken, that first minute of the game. And as I'm speaking, there was already a shot on goal here by Nitrous that is blocked away by a good double team of the net on the side of Scuzz, and now the ball is rolling over towards that limitless net, but is pushed away. But now it's still just being bounced around and hasn't found its home just yet. BU trying to put this one on. It's going to be Nitrous with a redirect, and that was a really tight angle, but it doesn't want to go. Gills gets bumped, and that's going to force Nitrous into a solo play. Bounces it up and down. Eris takes this one over towards the corner. As both of these teams just taking a couple of pot shots over towards the net. Limitless have had quite a few more. One of them has to land. But if I were Limitless, I would definitely try to get these team plays started. Get the passes off the middle. Maybe take those backboard passes. Oh, he's on the chase! It's gonna be an easy open net for oh. Scuzz! Oh. You can... That was... oh, yeah, go no. ahead. That was, that was something else right there. Hockey just perfectly carries the ball forwards and I think the pileup was just incorrectly read there because as you saw instead of actually blocking the ball they just kind of circled around it and just made a protective net allowing it to just go straight into the net there and I've got to give credit also to uh, Saya for actually thinking of going above to prevent the ball from bouncing out. Poor Saya looking to put this one on it's going to be Eris though gets a nice bounce 2-0 for Scuzz Esports and Limitless might be pushed to their limit here. 
And a good quick play there means that 2-0 already on the board there. And Eris just was able to perfectly read what was going to happen there. We saw Nitrous on the Fury Corner blocks the first ball, but then Saya is just, or Ares, excuse me, is just there to bounce it right over the back of the second defender. He is, and this will be another set up for the offense of Scuzz. Hockey looking to prop it down, and that'll be Ares' second goal, Limitless. Starting off very slow for game number two. Yes, 3-0 with less than uh, a minute 30 played so far. Already another quick game coming out for game two here, but this time it's going to be a commanding lead coming out for Scuzz Esports. As Ares so far has scored two and is on his way to a hat trick. So he has it with three minutes, 30 seconds to go. It will not surprise me if he gets it. And Ares has an opportunity for it right now, but he's going to take this one over to the side. Ceiling shot, going to pass it down to Saya. I can read this play coming from a mile away. But so could Limitless. And now they have control of this ball. That's going to be a pass off to Saya to keep Limitless at bay for now. But how long can you keep him there? They're a very aggressive team. Dangerous for Scuzz. But Limitless a little bit too slow on that read. And Scuzz is going to get away with that one for now. We are two minutes in. And Limitless has been held scoreless. Yeah, there was a good juggle there in the window of opportunity. But just no teammate from Limitless was able to uh, capitalize on that. And right now the ball has been doing a good job of getting near the Scuzz Esports net, but Scuzz Esports are just way better at being able to find those like small picks and setting up the ball for themselves in a way that lets them score. And right now they're looking to do that once again as Skills does block the ball from getting up in the air, but it is now getting moved over by Saya here as he's pushing it once again towards the net. Halfway through, Nitrous getting in an awkward spot. Okay. Putting Scuzz Esports in a very difficult spot to defend just making sure that no third man can come by and it sets up for the long range shot for skills nearly a full course shot there from skills just none of the players were expecting it to go that far into the net and that just happens sometimes right you're playing on one side of the map someone hits a perfect shot and the ball just bounces all the way across the map and no one's there to defend and skills just saw that opportunity took it and made an excellent score there giving some hope back to limitless tier they do. They're only down by two with two minutes to go. That is more than enough time to get something going. But of course, time works in both ways. That's also a lot of time for Guz to tag on to their lead. As we're talking right now, it's going to be limitless. We've taken a great position here. They're keeping the ball on the side of Scuzz, but we saw what happened before. And it looks like it's still just going to get passed around here. They're trying to set something up here, but Nitros with a nice up and over there. Just taps it right into the nice open arms of the goal that was not really being defended by anyone there. We saw Hawk is in the left there. It looks like Ares tried to go for it, but it was just a little too late there in the air. And Nitros are now putting his team only one goal behind Scuzz Esports. Limitless, the comeback is officially on. Two goals in a row. Can they make it three? With 90 seconds to go, my money's on him. Yeah, they have the time. Not a whole lot of pressure just yet, but you know, once that clock goes underneath the minute, that's when things start mounting really hard, right? You start getting desperate, making some plays, but they're doing a great job right now of keeping the ball over towards that goal of Scuzz uh, Esports. However, Scuzz Esports are not sitting back. They're going on the offensive right now. And they've got a good position here, but are, is anyone there to, uh, to use it? No, they're not. And Nitros almost ties it up, but Ares is there to save. BU trying to set it up, but Ares smacks it on down. One minute mark is upon us. Nitros, a great touch on that to get that one back into their control. But it does not take long for Skuz Esports to regain. Their skills banging it downfield. Ares bangs it right back, starting to play ping pong. Nitros pings it back over, and it's ponged right back to the orange side. Skills carrying this over. It's just Ares to beat. Hockey manages to get up on the backboard just in time as we reach the 30-second mark. Limitless still down by one, and they've got to find this net. And this is it. 30 seconds. Pressure amounting. You only need one goal in order to take this to overtime, but you still need two to win the game here. So this is all on the back of Limitless to make something happen here. BU has to save this. Manages to do just that. And now we begin the countdown with 10 seconds left on the clock. A demolition, though, of Ares gives him a, a slight advantage, but still, Hawk is just going to bounce the ball in the air, try to prevent anything else from happening. 
And now we go into the overtime. This is it for Limitless, but none of their players are there. The ball's gonna touch the ground. And it's gonna be Scuzz Esports now with a 2-0 lead in a very close game. Scuzz, two, two games in a row over Limitless. Not the start I was expecting, but who knows? Hot or <laughs> Hockey and company is a very solid team. I mean, Hockey, he had two assists. Three saves, three shots, two goals for errors, almost the hat trick. He had a couple of times where he was almost able to get that third goal, but they just did not land. And now they are one game away from taking the series. And Limitless, they definitely do not want to go down in a sweep here. But I mean, hey, weirder things have happened. I mean, we saw a sweep just in the last round and we thought it was going to be a pretty close game. So we thought this was going to be a close game. It might just be a sweep yet again. Or maybe Limitless will pull out the reverse sweep. All I know is Limitless, they are on do or die territory. And, I mean, you hyped up Limitless to me. Maybe I should have spent some time researching Scuzz here because they seem to be the ones who are really pushing it out of the gate. They've gotten the first goals of both series, if I'm not mistaken. And even if they haven't gotten the first goals, they've definitely gotten that, you know, that first breakaway, getting those three goals. And now it's, once again, it's going to be Scuzz with the first goal there as Ares, as I'm talking. Puts it in. Let's see exactly what happened here. Looks to be that no one is actually near the goal of Limitless. And Skills just doesn't actually jump towards the ball in the correct way. And that leaves Arias with a nice open shot there. And Scuzz are taking the lead. Once again, scoring before that one minute mark has even passed. Scuzz Esports starting the death timer for Limitless. Limitless going to have to turn it off. This is an opportunity though. It's going to waterfall down. A great place shot from Skills. But Hockey is there to make the save, and BU is forced to go all the way back. It's going to be the backboard shot. Oh, the misread by Saya! That was the chance to take the 2-0 lead and get some insurance on your lead. But it was just unfortunate there. Barely misses that out. And now Limitless have a chance here to tie it up. Skills is going for the ball, pushes it right over the top of the defender. In it goes, and that's going to be Limitless tying up this game here. And in a do-or-die situation, Limitless have at least given themselves some breathing room. But they do a minute in, and we are all tied up. 402 is left on the clock. And uh, one thing I've noticed about these games is most of them, I believe, uh, actually, two, of, both of them have. Yeah, they both started off pretty hot, and then they slowed down once you get to the base of the game or the, like, the... Nitty-gritty, the mid-game, yeah. You get about two minutes in, and that's when things start to slow down. That's when these teams starting to really solidify and get their defense flowing. When the first minute is, it's just an all-out brawl, goal after goal after goal. And uh, that is showing true. And also, the predictions are in. 67% of the vote going to Limitless. 33% or er, 67% of the vote going to Scuzz. 33% going to Limitless. I thought, you know, I thought Limitless was that 66% for a second. I was going to say, right now, I feel like if, you know, if that was true, the Scuzz fans are definitely eating pretty good with their team up to 0 but Limitless are trying to make sure that they're not going to disappoint anyone here as they're looking to win this game here and at least make this uh, uh, a little bit more competitive for them and try to go for that reverse sweep. But right now, the game is still just tied with no goals yet as we moved into this middle half where we really haven't seen crazy amounts of action so far this series. We'll have to see if Limitless decide to just go full out here and make some magic happen. We're going to have to find out here. We're nearing the halfway point. And the knock for touch from Ares will make it a little bit easier, but Hockey immediately gets that one to go through. It's almost in the midair, but that one through and Ares gets the last touch. And oh my goodness there, that was just a perfect setup by Hockey. He pulls it into the goal. That means that I think Skills was too afraid to do anything there to fully block it. Instead, ends up bouncing it into the wall. And the teammate just comes and backs up on the shot there. And I think they also had just a slight advantage there after they had performed a demolition earlier, which gave them that man advantage. And that was just a great play there by Skuz to bring them back into the lead. But now the shot is breaking away towards the goal. And BU with an excellent bank off the backboard. Gets a nice score there for Limitless and once again has tied us up here. And seems like Limitless might just be the king of the bounce back. They get scored on and they immediately hit him back and tie it up. 
but can they put that front foot forward? It doesn't matter if you can strike back. All that matters is that you strike last and that your strike means something because, oh, that's why it means so much because Eris strikes one more time and Limitless, they're just going to be, they're just going to keep playing from a goal down until they can take the lead, which they have not done so far this game. Eris there just in the right place where he needs to be and a nice little just upward bounce to change the trajectory of the ball makes it harder for the defender to really predict what's going to happen there. And now Scuzz again with the lead here but it's been traded back and forth quite rapidly however looks like they're on a break but actually Hockey was in the wrong place there he ended up blocking the ball for Limitless. What could have been a goal does not go the way of Scuzz Esports and now the ball is finally out of the goal. So a you know, defensive play there from Limitless keeps them alive for just a little bit longer here, but they still need to score if they want to bring this to overtime. They do, and the clock is running a little thin. There's still two minutes to go, so not have to worry just yet. But keep it in the back of your mind. Your skills with a little bit of space, not a lot of boost, but definitely some control over the ball. And that ball will go straight to Aris. Top right corner! BU strikes back, ties this game up. And just like that, 3-3 three to three is the score with 86 seconds left. And Aries just falls right underneath that ball, isn't able to stand up and protect it. And Bu with just a straight shot, hits it right into that right corner. And again, we are now tied here. 3-3, three to three, a six-goal game. This is, you know, looking to be possibly one of the, the most goals we've seen today. I think the most we saw was 4-2 earlier this series, where it was, yeah, it was a 4-2 for Scuzz, so... We'll have to see what happens here as we're guaranteed a seventh goal because one of these teams needs one more goal to win. With still just about a minute left on the clock, anything can still happen here. It's true, but can Limitless strike next? That is the question. It doesn't matter how hard you can strike back because if you can't get that first strike, then it doesn't matter. Imagine this game 0-0. You got to get that first strike because if you can't get that first strike, it does not matter. You're going to keep playing from behind. You can keep doing that, but you're not going to win the game. But they just we proved go. it wrong immediately. Nitrous puts this one on the board. And just like that, it is up to Scuzz to strike back now. Now look at that. It was right there. A nice bait onto, I think that was Hawk there. Went for the ball, was baited out there, actually pushed it into the goal himself. And then Skills just uh, make sure to screen it so no one can block it. And in it goes with another score right off the touch. Limitless wants this reverse sweep. BU going to take that Ooh. one off the kickoff. 40 seconds to go, a two-goal lead. And that might just be the end of game three. Limitless starting the comeback strong. It's because eSports, there's still some time for them to shut it down. Not they got to okay. get something going now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hockey is completely denying BU. Looking for one last shot, and it's going to go goodness. on. <laughs> Four goals for BU now. He's the savior that Limitless needed in this game. Definitely. 30 seconds left and down by three. I think this comeback might be a little bit far out for Scuzz Esports. And I think we will be seeing a game number four. All that Limitless has to do is not give up three goals in 30 seconds, which is a task that is not too hard, but you say that <laughs> in seconds they get the first one they just need to do that two more times and we're tied up and we're already here at 10 goals breaking our previous record already by four let's see how far these guys can push it you know I, this is an exciting game already it's, it looks like limitless are, are going to be able to close it up but we don't know for sure until the bell rings and another straight kickoff there is blocked by uh, Aries this time and now the ball is over by Limitless. It's going to be Scuzz Esports trying to make this as close of a game as possible. But with only 10 seconds left, they're going to need to make a quick play here. But there's a block. Five seconds left. Another strike is blocked out by BU. And BU was the hero this series needed. And exactly as the timer runs out, ball hits the ground. Limitless take game three. They take game three. And that was really close for a long, long time. Then all of a sudden, it just wasn't. It was just goal after goal after goal for Limitless, and Scuzz Esports was not looking like Scuzz Esports. And for Limitless to come back in the series, that's what they need. They're going to need to keep getting those really quick goals. They're going to have to get those shot after shot after shot, really 
put SCUS Esports in a tough place to be in because in the first couple of games, they weren't really doing that. They were just taking a couple of shots and a couple of them landed. But uh, they're going to need some more team plays, which is what they really ramped up in that third game. Yeah, and when we talk about what was happening there, right, we saw that it's now going to be uh, limitless. We have a lot more momentum. They're able to score six goals. Feels really good. And you know you can score six if you just can keep that up, right? You're going to have a much better game here. They need two more games if they want to complete the reverse sweep. And this would be the miracle run for them. But as I'm speaking, a shot on goal is blocked out by Nitrous there. So Limitless feel good about that. And now a double play coming out here. And a nice shot onto goal by Nitrous. Means that Limitless finally opened up this game, uh, opened up this series, excuse me. Limitless now taking the initiative, making Hawk miss. And Limitless strike first in game number four. And I think they are dead set on this reverse sweep. They just need two more games. And they just need, yeah, two more games. Couldn't ask for a more um, exciting moment on a broadcast right now. Possibility of a game five, possibility of reverse sweep on the cards. Maybe we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves, but we had one of our predictions go true. This is not going to end in a sweep, but we have to see if our second prediction of Limitless Women comes true as well, and that would take a miracle. But right now, it looks like that's exactly what might just happen. But still, this is very early into game one, uh, into game four, excuse me, and I, I might be getting a little ahead of myself here, but Limitless, they've got to feel good. Scoring first, scoring six in a row, or six, uh, six goals beforehand. We'll have to see what they can do here as they've got four more minutes to play out in this game. They're going to set up a play for skills. That's what they're going to do. But the bump does not come through. And Skuz now will regain control. Saya sets it up for Ares, but Ares is a little bit too far behind. And now Skuz just taking their time, getting something set up. And Hockey gets bumped back to his own half. But he is there to play it off the ceiling. As there's Ares taking it back down to the orange half. Great backboard play by skills to keep that one away from the net now as the passing play gets intercepted by BU and this ball is immediately back in the blue half. But BU tries to set it up there, is blocked away, but skills for the shot is just a little too high. Not gonna go on gold right there, but now it's gonna be Ares who has the ball. It's gonna be a, a one demolition, but the man is back on the board. So even three versus three, and now BU again, the one who puts it right near the goal, but Saya is there to just lever it just ever so gently out of the goal. He is, and now Nitro is looking for a pinch off the wall. It's not quite as powerful as he wants it. BU playing it off the wall now. Nitrous in a very rough spot. He's forced to fall back. As if he did not fall back when he did, that would have been for sure a goal for Scuzz. And BU. Great redirect. It just touches the bumper of his car and skills. Looking for one last touch to tap it on in. But this one doesn't want to go. Flip reset from BU. Saya taps that one away. And now Limitless starting to play very suppressive. And they're keeping Scuzz Esports on their own half. Yeah, all right. Now it's BU who's been making a lot of these setup plays. Has been the hero of his team, especially in that last game where he scored four of the goals. I'm not sure. I may have scored five, but I know for sure he scored four. But right now, it was a straightaway by Hawk, but Nitro's in the right place to make sure that ball does not go inside of his net. And it keeps his team's dream alive with the reverse sweep right now. As this has definitely been the slowest game that we've seen today with only one goal being scored. But this is extremely tense for both teams. Be careful talking about that, because the last time we mentioned how slow a game was, it was goal after goal after goal. So I don't know if I can handle that just yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, let's see what happens here. Maybe, you know, if we keep talking about it being slow, we'll pick up and we'll get some more excitement. And hopefully that excitement, it goes towards Limitless. But Saya goes for the demolition here. The ball is in a good place, but BU is there to protect BU again. You know, right now, he's putting on, you know, if we were to give it out, definitely I would say an MVP performance for his team. On the other hand, I think it's been a lot of the team play for the side of Scuzz that has given them all these goals. But right now, Limitless in the lead and are continuing with it as we count down to the last minute of our match here. There's been a lot of back and forth action from both of these teams since Limitless scored that first goal. Guz Esports, of course, looking to tie it up. Limitless looking for the nail in the coffin, looking for one last haymaker to send him into game number five. As Eris taking things slow, is gonna get bumped, almost pit maneuvered and spun out of control. Hockey! Oh, 
almost, and that'll be go. Hey. Oh no, that and one will be you. That one's gone. That one's past. <laughs> that one's past side of player. No. To... Oh. Oh no, Saya! Kicking himself for that one, just barely misses the front of his car there. And now, finally, Limitless have a nice commanding lead of a 2-0 here. I think the first time, or sorry, no, they hit that, that really big lead before, but the first time they're at least, you know, starting the game with a nice lead. They are 30 seconds to go. They just gotta hold on for 30 more seconds. Air is looking to make those 30 seconds as hard as possible. Ooh! Gets that one out of here, but he can't <laughs> save everything. Second time's the charm for Saya. And Scuzz brings us within one, 18 seconds to go. And Sky looking to deny game five. I don't want to, you know, jinx it, but we saw Limitless. They were able to make magic happen with 30 seconds. Let's see what happens here as Scuzz are going to try to make a comeback of their own. They just need two goals to win this series, but Limitless do not want to let that happen. They have control. I don't know uh, if their decision right now is going to be to just kind of keep the ball away, just go for that safe play, and I think that's what they're doing here, not going for a goal. They're just doing their best to make sure the ball is not going towards the net, and all he needs to do now is touch the ground, and it is not over just yet. Ball is still in the air. This is dangerous territories, but they're pushing almost for another goal there as Limitless take game number four, and now we are all tied up 2-2 two to two in our series. And for the first time on the broadcast, we have game number five, do or die situation for both of these teams. And Limitless trying to make their reverse sweep dreams come true and stay undefeated in the Swiss stage. Yeah, and this is just an impressive game play we're seeing. What started off as a 4-2 victory for Scuzz has slowly transitioned over to that 6-4 and now a 2-1 in favor of Limitless. And this game is is it the winner of this secures their third victory a perfect first three rounds and the best likelihood of getting into the top eight and moving on into the finals of that eight uh, team bracket so right now this is it the final game of the series final game of round three and we're going in as it's going to be scuzz versus limitless game number five this is it do or die and this is where champions are made this is where it all comes crashing down or it all comes building up guys esports versus limitless round three of the swiss stage game number five winner stays undefeated and loser drops the two and one limitless starting off with possession Having a lot of time in the blue half, making the life of Scuzz Esports as lar as hard as possible. But it's not going to stay in their half for long, as eventually that ball is going over to the orange half. Oh, beautiful Ooh. shot from Nitrous, Go. though. And it doesn't stay in the orange half for long. And Limitless opens the door for the reverse sweep. And that was just a nice little bounce in the corner there. And Nitros gets right on the other side of Ares. So Ares really doesn't have a choice there, right? He can't block to the left, and when he blocks to the right, Nitros pushes it right into the goal, and Limitless ahead in this game, feeling good. They have all the momentum behind them, winning back-to-back -back games, coming back. It's going to definitely be Scuzz who are having the, you know, more mental pressure here of blowing that 2-0 lead. Oh, absolutely. I like to say, whenever you are about to give up a reverse sweep, you're two games in, you're, you're like, all right, we drop one game, we're fine, we just need to win this next one. The fourth game, you get dropped, and then your mentality switches. You switch from "we need to lose the," or, "we need to win this game," to "we can't lose this game." So, there's quite a big difference in those two mentalities, and uh, you always got to play to win, and you always got to play one game at a time, which is why reverse sweeps are not all that uncommon. Yeah, for sure, but right now, Limitless with the lead are the ones dictating the pace of this game. All they need to do is hold on to the victory, but instead, Skills, with an excellent pit of aerial there, just moves that ball perfectly in the air, keeps it afloat, tap, 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 one, two, puts it right in the goal. Wow. Skills just pops it up, carries it all the way down. That is Rocket League mechanics at its finest. Doesn't get better than that, like you said. The old one, two, that one is in. Two goal lead now for Limitless. Scuzz Esports 
A little bit of a comeback is needed if they want a chance to take this game number five. As that was Saya trying to get things opened up. As this one's going the other way immediately. He's got a nice bounce on it. Set up for skills. 3-0! Limitless in firm control of game number five. And they have a goal plus insurance. They've got the whole bundle. They've got their home, their motorcycle, their car. Everything they need insured, they got it. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on their insurance. And right now it's Limitless who are the ones who are looking happy as they have a 3-0 lead. Was about to be a little bit more dangerous there, but a good block there. However, Hockey's keeping the ball on the side of Limitless. But BU, our champ, you know, my voted MVP here is doing a great job of just me moving that ball around. Set up that last goal for Skills. But right now, Skills is the hero of this specific match as he's the one who's been scoring those goals. Absolutely, and a little bit of a fun fact, 15 minutes is actually the amount of time, amount of game time it takes to complete a best of five reverse sweep. So, uh, a little bit of fun fact, you know, just uh, <laughs> got some trivia going Perfect, on. Perfect, uh, the you know, wrap up there, yeah, with the little insurance quote we had going, but. Yeah, absolutely, right by the, uh, by the uh, unnamed insurance company. Unnamed, no need, no free promotion. But uh, <laughs> right now, that was a dangerous position there. Looks like Sai was just a little too high with that touch there. The ball is going to go out of the orange half here and back in the hands of Limitless. But as I say, that Arius is trying to make something special here, and he does make it happen as Hockey just secures the goal there. And just was, uh, I think that was BU there. Yeah, BU in the goal, unable to make it uh, to defend. And Hockey trying to chop down at this lead of Limitless. Two minutes to go, and Limitless's lead only two now. So now Scuzz Esports looking to come back from the comeback, which is a little bit confusing, but bear with me. Limitless obviously do not want that to happen. They might be able to just deny for the rest of the time. Oh my Why deny goodness. when you can just keep the scores coming? Just watch keep it. Here. Taps it once, keeps his jump, bounces it up over, and just sets up skills for this excellent position here. I, I keep seeing it's you the one doing this you got to give credit to the man he's not getting the goals this game but he is still setting them up perfectly for his team oh by far bu is the mvp of this match and limitless the reverse sweep knocking on the door the door is open they are about to step in and scuzz esports has 90 seconds to kick them on out of here because that one is almost going in but limitless just locking the door. They're about to step in, lock the door behind them. They might have a one-way ticket to reverse sweep town. Population three, Gills, Nitrous, and BU. Let's see here what happens. The ball is moving away, but as I say, it's bounced right back into the territory of Scuzz. And this is just pretty much reverse of what we saw from the first two games. It was Scuzz pushing the attack, held to the metal, keeping the ball on the side of uh, limitless, but right now Limitless are the ones who are making sure that Scuzz does have no room to breathe. They have to be kept keeping themselves on the defensive, no time to think about attacking. And so far, they've been you know doing an excellent job of that. One and four. They need three goals in under 40 seconds now in order to make a comeback here. And Limitless are just trying to run away with this victory. Almost another goal there, but just a little bit off there by Nitrous. And right now, it's going to be... Limitless with 30 seconds left to complete this reverse sweep. Really make it count here. Aries, though, doesn't want to let that happen, but the ball is still just getting moved away further and further from the orange team's goal. And Scales looking for one last touch. It's going to be a little bit high, but it's not going to matter. 10 seconds to go. Three goals just not happening. Limitless convert on the reverse sweep opportunity. And Scuzz Esports take their first loss of the Swiss stage in round number three. And Limitless stay undefeated.